So one day you feel like a tour pro. You can hit every shot you dreamed of, solid contact, in the center of the club face, and then the next day you can't seem to do anything right. What's going on? You don't have any consistency. Well, it could be something as simple as you're not connected in the golf swing. Today I'm gonna show you how to get connected and help you have more days where you feel like a tour pro on the golf course. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Kolb, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV, and this word connected is a pretty common term we hear in golf instruction these days. So I've got a couple drills, I'm going to show you how to do it, and also really what is the benefit of being more connected? Well, the benefit of being more connected, when we say connected, basically we're talking about the lead arm staying relatively connected to your body. Now that lead arm can be on the side, it can be in the top, it can kind of be all over, but basically when somebody's connected in their golf swing, their lead arm moves in unison, okay, moves in unison with their body versus it moving completely independent of one another, all right? Now, for those of you who've watched my videos, you know I'm a big fan and we developed the whole vertical line swing system, so this connected concept is really geared a little bit more towards younger people or people who have a lot of flexibility. Okay, so if you're a vertical line swing system follower and you love that, you maybe take this with a little bit of a caution, but let's dive right into it. So first of all, here, let me show you a drill. Now this drill has been around for years. Okay, I didn't invent it, it's been here for a long time. And it's a towel drill. So we're basically just gonna take the towel and we're gonna kind of tuck it underneath each one of our arms. Okay, this would be the, this would be the, um, the maximum connected. Okay, maximum connected. It's underneath each one of my arms. And when you do this drill, just use a wedge, don't use a long club. And what you're gonna do is just make some swings and keep that towel underneath your arm. See that? Now when that towel's under my arms, I'll go ahead and actually hit a little shot here. Notice I'm not trying to, I'm not gonna try to hit it very far. Here we go, a little here, there. Maybe hit that ball 75 yards. Good, let's hit another one. And what I want you to watch is notice how my arms, because of the towel in here, they're forced to work with my body. Here we go. There it is, good. Okay, now that would be the way to really feel the most connected, but once again, only hit it with a wedge shot. But let's talk about some other ways that we can do it that maybe aren't as drastic. So I'm gonna grab a seven iron for this one here. I'm gonna take my glove off. And I gotta tell you, hey, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel here at US Golf TV. We are growing like crazy, all right, like crazy. And one of my favorite things to do is in the comments where you tell me where you're from. We love hearing where you're from. We got people from all over the world that we're helping play better golf. So do that, ring the bell, so you know when we got new videos coming out, and do a favor, tell a friend about us here at US Golf TV. So the next way that we can feel connected, which as we're learning, is having the lead arm work in unison with the body. Notice I didn't say tight. I don't want tension, I don't want you to be tight, I want you to be connected. Another way you can practice that is by taking a glove and just putting it underneath your lead arm like this, okay? And we're gonna hit a couple shots. Now these are, I'm doing with the seven arm. So I can make a little longer swing. And then we're gonna talk about a way that we can take this to the golf course, all right? So let's just make a couple practice swings first to get that feel. Okay, now you'll notice that my arm swing's gotta be a little shorter in these, all right? Because it can't really run away. It's gotta stay connected to my chest. Here we go. Notice these are a little longer swings and it also abbreviates my finish. That's why I don't do a ton of these. It's really more about creating that sensation and that feel of my lead arm working in unison with my chest. Let me go ahead and hit one more there. This right underneath there. All right, that was a little bit better. Okay, all right, now, what are some ways that we could do this on the golf course? Because you, you can't hit shots on the golf course with a towel under your arm. And if you put a glove underneath your arm, your buddies are gonna give you a hard time. So we don't wanna be doing that. So what's a way we can do this on the golf course? Well, simple thing. You can build it into your routine. And this is the way that I actually like the most. What you're gonna do is we're gonna get set up here. We're gonna grip it in our lead hand. And we're just gonna take our arm, we're gonna kinda move it up and set it on top of our chest like that. So see, I'm on the side. We're gonna move it up and on top. And when I do that, I get a distinct feeling between my arm, okay, and my upper chest. Now that I've got that feel, I'm just gonna kinda keep that right there, all right? Keep that feeling of connected together. And now I'm gonna go ahead and swing it. Be nice and solid. So, being consistent on the golf course, lots of times means getting your body to work in unison. Okay, connected means lead arm 
working in unison with your chest. You can do a towel drill for the extreme, okay? You can do a glove underneath the lead arm to get the next feel, or when you head to the golf course, you can just take your lead arm, put it on top of your chest, and these couple tips right here can help you stay connected and probably help you be more consistent on the golf course.